I have two Subaru Outbacks behind me. One is the regular 2.5 liter engine and one has the 2.4 liter turbo, which is also known as the XT engine. So in today's video, I'm gonna cover what are the exact differences because as you can tell from looking at them visually, you can't tell which one is an XT and which one isn't. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to make weekly Subaru videos just like this. So if you enjoy that type of content, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And if you guys learned something new today, please be sure to click the like button. So when we look at these two Outbacks side by side, you can't differentiate which one is the turbo and which one is not the turbo. Although these Outbacks look the exact same, they differ a lot with the engine and therefore they differ in towing capabilities and price and fuel economy and much more. So I'm gonna cover that in detail in just a moment. Before we get to that though, go ahead and make your guess. Do you think the one on the left is the XT or the one on the right is the XT? If you guessed the one on the right, you are correct. This one is the XT. There's no way for me to really tell the difference in these other than walking to the back and looking at the badge. So this one has the XT badge on the back and the other one does not. So that's how you tell the difference, just visually speaking, really quick on which one is the XT. The XT engine comes in four Outback trim levels. For example, you can get the XT in the Onyx, the Wilderness, the Limited, and the Touring. This right here is the Touring trim level. You can tell because of the satin chrome mirrors and the roof rails, and these are power foldable mirrors. All of the mirrors are foldable on the Outbacks, but the Touring is the only one that has power foldable mirrors. If you're looking for the more rugged off-road Outback and you like the Wilderness Edition, the Wilderness only comes in the turbo engine, so there's no way to opt out of it. For the Onyx from 2020 through 2022, it also came standard with the turbo engine, so previously there was no way to opt out of it. However, now in 2023, the Onyx has the option to go with the 2.5 liter. If you saw my recent video, I actually talked about this. That's actually the one that I ordered for myself. So it is important to know that some trim levels, you don't have the option to opt out of the turbo. It just comes standard with it. Both Outbacks have towing capabilities. By the way, neither Outback comes standard with a tow hitch. You still have to add that as an optional accessory, but the braking and transmission are set up for towing. On the 2.5 liter, it's set up for 2,700 pounds of towing capabilities, where the XT can tow up to 3,500 pounds. So depending on what you plan to use your Subaru for, that may determine which Outback model to go with. If you're just towing bikes or a cargo rack or something like that on the back of the car with a trailer hitch, then the standard 2.5 should be sufficient. But if you plan to tow a small trailer or something a little bit heavier than bikes and cargo, then you might wanna go with the turbo. The turbo engine came out in 2020. It replaced the previous generation Outback that had the 3.6R. So the 3.6 cylinder that Subaru used to offer is no longer available and they have since replaced it with this 2.4 liter turbo, which gets a little bit better gas mileage than the previous generation. All Subaru Outbacks have the symmetrical all-wheel drive system that we've come to know and love, but the 2.5 liter has 182 horsepower with 176 pound-feet of torque, while the XT has 260 horsepower with 277 pound-feet of torque. So while the XT does get more power and much more torque, it does get lower fuel economy. So if that's important to you, know that you're gonna get less miles per gallon on the XT than you otherwise would on the same car in the 2.5 liter. The XT gets an average of 26 miles per gallon while the 2.5 liter gets an average of 29 miles per gallon. And of course, this is going to vary depending on how you drive how heavy your foot is on the gas, and whether you drive mainly in the city or mainly on the highway. Both of these Outbacks have an 18.5 gallon fuel tank and based on the miles per gallon estimates, the XT should achieve around 480 miles on a full tank, while the 2.5 should achieve around 530 miles on a full tank. And although some turbocharged engines require you to use premium gas, the 2.4 liter turbo XT Outback does not require you to use premium gas. 
If you compare the price of the 2.5 liter to a comparable 2.4 liter turbo, you're going to see a spread of around $23 to $2,400. So the XT is more expensive than the non-turbo alternative. And if you're looking purely based off price and you don't need the additional towing or the additional power and torque that comes with the XT, then it might be more suitable to go with the 2.5 liter. If you go with an XT model, it will come standard with the power moonroof, the navigation in the touchscreen display, and a feature called reverse automatic braking. Also, if you go with a limited XT or a touring XT, it comes standard with the heated steering wheel. What this means is that if you go with a 2.5 liter Onyx or a 2.5 liter Limited, is that you can opt out of that optional package, which could save you even more money, accounting for another couple thousand dollars. The reason I bring this up is because on my 2023 Onyx edition that I just ordered, I actually opted out of the optional package and I opted out of the turbo engine because I don't necessarily need the power, although it is really fun to drive that XT. And I didn't need the moonroof or the navigation. I'm going to use my Apple CarPlay for my nav, which displays it up on the screen. And in my opinion, is a lot easier to use and just looks better. So that's what I actually did. So if you wanna save yourself a few bucks, that's how you do it. You can opt out of the XT if you don't need it and you can opt out of the optional package. If you're looking for a Subaru Outback and you're not quite sure which trim level you wanna go with and you wanna see all the differences from the base model all the way up to the highest trim level, you can do so by clicking on the YouTube card above to the right. I made a video covering this in much more detail. Also, if you guys are curious about what is new for the 2023 Outback and how that compares to the previous models, then click on the YouTube card above. It'll take you to that video. I hope you guys learned something new in today's video. If you did, as always, please be sure to click the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.